get a catapult and we load an elephant into it. Why? Because we're gonna make a live action Dumbo movie. Um, have you thought this out? Why? Yes, I have. Why? Why? Doesn't matter why. Yeah, we're why? Gonna do uh, yeah, it. why? It doesn't matter. But I already have a writer. Who? The guy who did all the Transformers movies. So we're going to attach Dumbo into rockets, load him into a oh. catapult, and make him fly. It's going to be the best movie Seriously? ever. Yes. Where are you going to find someone who agreed to put their elephant through that much torture? Disney. Why would we make a live-action Dumbo movie? Baby elephant. Without using, and how, without CGI. Also, so get a catapult. We're, see back to catapult. Okay. okay. See back to, who is going to lend you an elephant? So it's release, shoot, cut. Release, shoot, cut. I didn't like that. But let's start <laughs> over from the beginning. Who's going to give me an elephant? Yeah. The zoo. I will break into a zoo, steal an elephant, load into a catapult, see catapult plant. Okay, hello zoo. I you know, I, I need a cute elephant for a double live action. I'm gonna be catapulting. Actually, I got to be okay with this. I got a better idea about this. Movie. No. Better idea. I got a better idea about this movie. We make a movie about making a live action double movie with the cast of I don't know who we could cast for. Friends. The, last, the last movie they made with yes. Elephant was <laughs> Operation Dumbo Drop. And I hated that movie. That's the one where they dropped the elephant on a plane, right? Yes. We do the big that. giant parachute. We do that. But why? I, I didn't like it the first time. I'm not going to like it the second time. Uh, it doesn't I'm, matter if that, you didn't like it. But then no. we have to put songs into it and. No, we don't put songs. But everybody will, will give up. We'll pass out free LSD to replicate the pink elephants. The LSD actually might work. Yeah, that would work. Yeah, it would. But the crows. Yeah. The only that's, people. That's a tough. Well, let's kick it up a notch because we're already dropping elephants okay. out. We got Peter probably on us already. Already. We might as well just push it. We push just the might as well do right? it. We're gonna get Samuel L. Jackson, Morgan Freeman, and just for the heck of it, let's do Robert Downey Jr. Why not? He played a black. He did play a black man. Tropic and Tropic Thunder. Yeah. He played it well, too. He did. And we could just do that. Well, let's just keep the original dialogue and just tell him to do whatever, guys. Better. Better? Actually, yeah, I like that idea. Let's do that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just tell just, just tell Robert Downey Jr., do whatever you want. Oh, well, that would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> do whatever you <laughs> want. And then he gets a catapult. <laughs> and he loads the elephant in the catapult. <laughs> and that is the double movie. It's just Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> Alright. He he's he's been filming. Again? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, so. Hi. 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 So Hi. I'm Bob. We're back. I'm Leah. And I'm Chad. And this is Movie Roulette. saw Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. It takes place 10 years after the 2011 remake of Rise of the Planet of the Apes. And suddenly we have humans who find apes, who find humans. And then wacky hands are <laughs> so so There's not much else to say. Go, we, go on. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm just going to go We have on. explosions. We have spears. We have gorillas riding Horses. I was gonna Wait, say dinosaurs. Guns. Guns. That's, that's, guns. That's a it's guns. a battle. It's a battle, and it's awesome. <laughs> this movie is so action packed, but it's like it's like Transformers. It Transformers was good and done with monkeys exactly. on horses with machine guns. Exactly. <laughs> that's what this movie needs. That's what Transformers needed. Monkeys? It did. It needed monkeys and horses and guns and, and guns. explosions. That exactly. makes sense. 
and spears yep. and apes. Yeah, well, we've already covered apes. <laughs> so this entire movie, though, I could definitely say is just all around a fun movie. Yeah, I mean, this movie had almost everything you wanted, except for romance. Well, I, I think romance would have been too out of place in this movie. It didn't have romance, but it did have a family it. element. Involved. True. Yeah. It was it more did. like friendship and family bond, which yeah. are equally as important. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I agree. I think this entire. I th- I think you are right. I think you more have like that familyness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is fine, I guess, when you have monkeys riding horses with guns. That's cool. And also, like, humans almost going extinct. Well, the details, details. Yeah. They'll walk it off. You know, like you every... Know, they can make more humans. Absolutely. Yeah, until they run out. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but if you're making humans, they're also making apes. This is getting weird. We should stop. <laughs> <laughs> this movie's getting weird. Did I mention explosions? Yeah, did we mention? <laughs> so the whole movie, I guess, stars Commissioner Gordon. Commissioner Gordon, yeah. He yeah. is protecting the human civilization. He basically... Um, as far as they know. Yeah. Basically, from, he remade Gotham in San Francisco. In San Francisco, yeah. Francisco, yeah, yeah it's just it. without Batman and Clowns. Yeah. So, but he... So... I'm pretty sure Batman was, like, in another city, Yeah. So. But instead of Batman and Clowns, we have, a, we have an ape dictator. Yeah. And, um, not really a dictator, it's a leader. <laughs> yeah. Caesar. 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 <laughs> Who's great? Caesar, I personally, I could definitely say that Caesar, this, the the effects of this movie were really, really well done. Yeah, I have to say, the apes' faces were just really beautiful. Yeah. Look, yeah, and also, if you're familiar weird. with uh, previous directors of Transformers movies, yeah. where there's a lot of this going on, they don't do that. Yeah, yeah so it's, it's just. The best thing done. about this movie is that it's been about roughly 10 winters, I guess, 10 years, 10 winters, yeah. something like that, and apparently they finally got up one morning and said, the human race is about to be extinct. Shaky Cam is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you know, after we stop making movies or fight for our lives, guys, let's quit Shaky yeah, Cam in movies. Yeah. yeah. Let's remember all those people who complained about the Shaky Cams back when we were actually running the planet? Let's take that into yeah, let's, yeah. let's think about that for a moment. Let's not make G.I. Joe. Let's not make G.I. Joe. And let's have a non-shaky cam with apes in it. Exactly. <laughs> let's not do that, but let's make a movie about apes. Apes. And the cool thing about this movie, though, is that it every part of the movie was just really well shot. I didn't feel like there was a scene out of place. I didn't yeah. feel like there was a scene that wasn't needed. Except, no, actually, I didn't. Normally, no, it, it, really, it actually yeah. really smooth transition from beginning to middle climax to the end it was yeah yeah the story great. felt very natural flowing to me yeah yeah it almost felt believable you know this it felt like hey this could totally probably happen maybe let's hope not well <laughs> but well i don't know i guess i wouldn't might know maybe and it was it, it gave you enough information like, as a standalone movie to not even Really have to watch the 2011 Rise of Planet yeah. of Apes. Yeah, I definitely because it's like you you haven't seen any of them. No. Right? Yeah, but did you catch up when you saw the whole little fight? Yeah, it wasn't much, but it was information to say, yeah, this is why this happened. This is where and this is where we are now. Yeah, exactly. Disease broke out. People were stupid. They made a disease that could cure autism, but it did the opposite of curing exactly. autism. It made you dead. So <laughs> I mean, I guess technically that may healed you from it, but I mean, you, you did it. So and then monkeys evolved and then they took over. Yeah. And then there, then there well, was fun. took over. Well, not really. As far as they knew, they weren't yeah. sure. Yeah. So, but, and you also see that you know how monkey, how monkeys, monkeys, apes, apes. Caesar apes. realizes um, in the movie that apes are not so different from humans, and they they try to create a bond together but it really kind of falls apart. The thing is what's Caesar's yeah. thing is he always assumed that apes were superior. They wouldn't act like humans. They wouldn't hurt each other like kill each other at all. But then he, when he sees his fellow apes doing the same thing it's he realizes we're not as different. We, I thought we were different but I guess we're more similar than I thought we were. Yeah we're just as stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you, guys made, you guys made a great point with uh, the, uh, the effects you know with the apes Mm-hmm. Looking so Beautiful. real, yeah. According to Leah, you could you yeah. could see the the hurt, the anger, the anguish that they were going through. Oh, it was yeah. Amazing. yeah. Because normally, when you watch a movie like that, you don't really get the idea of the other side. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's mostly most movies where it's a 
it's a movie about m- movies nowadays is well the human race needs to feel you need to feel sorry for the human race right this movie captured the whole thing of well the way they made the monkeys the facial features the structure like they put a lot of time and you being able to think that wow they are just like us and you actually can see how at both sides oh are the same yeah, yeah the same yeah they both are kind of they kind of want the same thing yeah and i like that i like the way like you were saying because it leads up to that of the whole the whole the cinematography the effects and everything yeah. of this movie is you feel bad yeah you just too. overall feel bad when you look at them it's wow i'm sad and you know they're sad it's not like looking at optimus prime or what other animated features where it's they just have this really dead looking stare yeah. at you like you like you see right into their soul yeah, yeah it's it was very well done you you yeah. felt like you were staring in the eyes of yourself and saying yeah. wow apes are apes are really really just like us in the end yeah mm-hmm. so but the only thing i really 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 did have a problem with this movie because normally most of the stuff that i had a problem with is just nitpicking yeah. you know what i mean but the biggest problem i had was suddenly you suddenly eight suddenly human. Suddenly human it's like human ape human ape human ape human ape ape human human ah, ah <laughs> see yeah so it was that was the thing that bothered me where it was what there are talking apes no you don't forget what happened in san francisco <laughs> or wherever the first movie took place the first movie took place in san francisco too right yes thanks yeah it did. Okay, i think yeah. it was commissioner it gordon did. in that well no <laughs> i guess the, i guess it's because commissioner gordon maybe fell through a time portal or you know just some kind of portal. Yes, <laughs> he <laughs> obviously arranged this colony so people could live yes. but yeah. so he he's obviously where the apes are out there they, they kind of destroyed your life and that's not something you're ever going to forget it's like what there are apes and they can talk now that was what? really weird yeah. like you don't forget something like that that no. there was a war in san francisco between humans and apes for a short period of time yeah. you know it's not what there they're, there's talking ape? I no, mean, maybe i've never heard, heard of, of talking of, i've never heard of apes i've never heard of talking apes i mean I, i've lived in san francisco Cisco all my life i don't remember the first Ape that ever talked. Yeah. yeah. Um, Caesar. Also, I got a better idea, too. If there's apes out there, let's not try to check it out, because if you're telling me they can talk, they must be intelligent. Let's shoot them. I'm going to kill them. We should kill them. That's just a kill great them. idea. Basically, he acted as American as he could. Yeah, he was the... Uh, he was... Well, and I hate to say it, but at that time, Commissioner Gordon was the embodiment of America. <laughs> murder. <laughs> awesome. murder. We're going to blow them up. Murder. What? They're blowing America. Blowing things up, apes! Oh, no, America! Chat like this. I was just like, dude, stop. But he was great. Yeah. I thought his acting was great. Oh, I, agree. I think he put every ounce of it. He just one of the things I really look for in an actor is if you're having fun. Yeah. And I feel like even the monkeys, even in the apes and everything, if they were people and they were acting and they were like the originals and they were people in monkey <laughs> yeah. suits. I feel like they would be having a lot of fun too. I think so too. You know, because I think it was also it was motion capture. I think too. Yeah. I believe so. Yeah. I could just I what I was waiting for that one moment where you just had you know Caesar just burst out laughing because just the whole dialogue is just really well done, and really well set up. Oh, was, just wait for the bloopers. I'm pretty sure. I was just gonna yeah, say, just one line like, like, down for real. Like, yeah. like, oh, let's do this again. Let's do this again, and then it's just like, <laughs> wow, you're a talk. Just think, you're an orangutan talking. Yeah. And laughing. It's it's just it, the yeah. movie's a lot of fun. There's a lot of action in it, but the other thing that really bothered me, though, and all right, we're gonna go into this. Okay. Spoiler alert. Because I'm going to do the little, you know, the yeah. S- yeah. spoiler alert. Spoiler. <laughs> it's the ending, the very small ending of the movie. And we discussed Where this Where they're too. at the bottom of the yes, tower. Yes, the bottom of the tower. There was a comment that was made. And it was very bizarre. And I felt like that was the only dialogue. And, you know, the dialogue there wasn't too much of. Right. Most of it was just sign language and everything, which is really interesting. Yeah, too. because you don't really notice it. Yeah, you really don't. It's just like, okay, cool. And you kind of get their voices in their heads, yeah. too. Personally, I just thought Maurice, the orangutan, was just Pee Wee Herman the entire time. Like, that's yeah. awesome. 
But <laughs> it was just that one comment. That was the only thing that was really out of place. I, so, think, I, I think the the comment you're talking about had to do with the safety of the community. Yeah, and it was like suddenly this. Huh? Really? Really? Huh. That's happening. Can that happen? Can I don't know. I, I don't so. think so. I mean, I guess. You're telling me just at that particular time that lined up perfectly? Yeah, also, that was very convenient. The radio waves and yeah. the gas station. Yeah. yeah. They're really still playing music. <laughs> well, well, remember when the gas station had power, I'm sure they had speakers outside the gas station. But it's still playing music? Well, no, he put it on. Yeah. And he went inside yeah. the gas station, put on the music purposely. With what? Power. Power? With what? He used the radio or a CD? I think there were CDs in a there CD. somewhere. Again, batteries. Unless it was a plug-in one. I couldn't tell, but that was my other yeah, thing, yeah. too. That's just nitpicking. I could understand. I'm like, it's either one thing with radio, and I don't think it works. But then again, I might not have seen or put in the disc. Yeah. yeah. But other than that, I mean, any other thought? I have yeah. one nitpicky thing. Don't do it. But okay, go ahead. <laughs> also, again, spoiler alert. Yeah. Spoiler You have to do that a couple times. Okay, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. There's one scene, you know, it's about the middle, mm -hmm. right before Caesar gets injured by yeah. one of the other ones. Yeah. I feel the way he was injured was a bit out in the open. Y yeah, that, I, I thought I that. I mean, the apes too. aren't dumb, and their eyesight <laughs> is assumed to be very good. Yeah. And no one noticed it at all. But all their attention was, was being towards Caesar and I don't know exactly what was going on at the time it had to do, but all their attention was on him. Right. And his surroundings. But I understand where she's but I I actually have yeah. to agree with Leah though. It's that one particular spot. Mm -hmm. You know, that just that one spot, he's maybe what? The 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 what ends up happening, you know, that one spot, he's that close to him and not one of them noticed. Like none of them said I mean <clears throat> The True. weapon was, should have looked fairly out of place to everything else. Right. It's, wait a minute. They did this. They knew you were here. Like, it was just very weird. You know, when you really think about it, it's not something that a lot of people would notice. I don't think anyone would. Like I said, I'm but, just being nitpicky, but. Right. And I agree. I, I will definitely I guess, agree. I guess I can see your point. Also, yeah. you bring up a good point. There was that also, just before that, simultaneously kind of happening, who wouldn't notice right. what they did? Right. Yeah. Like, well, that's... There are apes everywhere, and they don't notice him doing this one thing Yeah, like, that is really detrimental to them. Right. Mm -hmm. I agree. I think I think that scene was very... Bizarre. So, yeah. I guess I, I, I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah, I can see your point. See? We all agree, but... I think we can all, I think maybe we can all agree this movie is definitely a recommendation. Absolutely. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I think this entire movie works. I agree. So it was a well it was a well thought out movie. Yeah. It took them what? Three years to make? Well, what, it came out in two thousand eleven? So three years. Yeah, three. About three. Years. Three well, and a half. Yeah. I think because I think the first one came out in October. Yeah, I think you're right. Maybe something like that. So all I remember is yeah. sitting down eating a bucket of popcorn. Either way, they like, I've never while. seen the other ones except <laughs> one, which was when I was in high school sitting in science fiction class. Anyway, I give this movie an A. <laughs> so I I think I think this movie was great. I think everything was well set up. I think the sound was great. I think the just the effects were great. I felt sorry for people. I was my entire heart was racing. I was yeah. annoyed at some parts. It was just great. I felt it was very exhilarating. So I agree. I think it had all, every element that I look, I personally look for in a movie. Definitely, they used their three and a half years very wisely to make this movie. Yeah, yeah. I think everything else. I mean, do you guys want to give it a grade, or do we just kind of want to leave it up to everybody? I would kind of. Yeah, so. Me personally, I like to leave it up to to the audience, see what they think. I don't care what they. I think. would see the movie again, and that's my opinion. Yeah, I agree. I know I would give it a high grade, but go see it yourself. Yeah, yeah I mean, comment. Let us know what you think. Yeah, and if you don't comment, that's cool. Yeah. But I'm Chad. I'm Leah. And I'm Bob. And we'll see you next time on Movie Roulette.